Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the brand new 2019 version of Bitdefender. I have with me the total security suite, but if you have internet security it should be more or less the same since we will essentially just be testing the protection features. Which is nicely laid out in this screen. We have the AV obviously, we have a vulnerability scan that kind of reminds you to change passwords and stuff like that. You have the firewall, the anti-spam, online threat prevention, advanced threat defense. This is one of the modules I'm most interested in. It's kind of the behavioral blocking component. And we have safe files, which is just a protected access kind of system for your valuable documents. And then you have ransomware remediation. This actually allows automatic restore of any encrypted files. So combining all of these modules, it's supposed to have a multi-layer defense against ransomware. That's what's advertised. I'm not particularly particularly impressed with the new design scheme it's just not to my personal liking I guess but it's still very easy to use so I don't have too many complaints let me know what you think of this new UI but we didn't get an AV to look at it we got it to protect us from all sorts of threats so let's get started with the test here I have some malware links that we're going to try on the system first and see if Bitdefender can protect us here goes nothing link number one and the page was blocked successfully. It's good to see. Bitdefender are known for their excellent signatures, so I wouldn't be surprised if it manages a clean sheet in this part of the test. We're only at link three though, and there is still plenty of time for screw up, but so far so good. Most of these are getting blocked instantly, so I'm guessing that's just the web signatures coming in play. This is going to be one of my fastest link tests. Oh, we finally have a file, but it was caught and disinfected. We'll try to run it, but we can't. So that was one threat that actually managed to get past the web prevention, but was caught by the real-time protection on the system. The last one is blocked directly, and that concludes the link test. Now we're going to move to the next part of the test, which is going to be much more interesting, where we actually drag in a lot more malware into the system. To make this happen, I will have to temporarily disable the protection. Let's see how we can do that. No easy way, apparently. Not going to complain, not that you want to do it all the time. In this folder, I have 776 pieces of malware. These are all very recent, collected them right now, just before the test. They should range from one to seven days old. Now that we have the test folder on our system, we're going to right-click scan with Bitdefender. Let's see how long this takes and how many of these threats we can remove. The scan is now complete and we're going to try to resolve all of these threats. I'm going to select Delete. The removal process is now complete, so we are left with 23 items. Although wait, Bitdefender says my system is infected and I need to go into rescue environment to clean it. No, I'm not going to do that. I can't believe Bitdefender is so scared of a couple PUPs it wants me to go into rescue environment. Anyway, getting back to the point, the detection ratio on these files is actually a phenomenal 97%. That's Bitdefender for you, really good detection ratios. But now we're going to re-enable the shields and get started with these files. We're going to actually execute them on the system and see if it gets infiltrated. Going to turn on the AV protection as well. And here we go. First one won't run on our PC. Second one is probably some kind of adware setup. And whoa, it just deleted the rest of my malware files. What the hell just happened there? Didn't even go to recycle bin. It just disappeared all of a sudden, deleted everything. And Bitdefender wasn't able to protect my malware, oh no. I redid the whole process and guess what, this time we didn't even get the random warning. So we can safely continue with the execution test.
So even though a lot of these PUPs are starting up, they're not able to download their payloads because the defender is blocking it at that level. For example, this setup just started, but it's just giving us a connection error because the defender is blocking the connection to the PUP host. Now here's something really interesting. The defender tells me that ransomware behavior was actually remedied, which means we had a ransomware execute on the system. So malware 374 tried to encrypt our files and failed. And we can take a look at the files that were affected. Huh, it wasn't actually any of uh, the data in this folder. Just some random temp files and the ransomware protection intervened. So that was pretty early in the process. Anyway, now I'm going to restart the system and I'll get back to you with the second opinion scan results. Finally, our second opinion scanners are done and we can get straight to the results. First, a couple of things. It's always funny to see another AV product being installed as a PUP on the system when I'm doing a test. So in this case, it's AVG, which is currently owned by Avast, so you get the point. We still have one file in the test folder. This is not an accident. I didn't do anything with it. It just happens to be active on the system, which means I cannot delete it. If we take a look at the scan results, Samana didn't detect anything, but Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro both detected a couple of things. They both picked up the malware in the folder, and as you can see, it is actually active. Hitman Pro calls it a Trojan, but I think Malwarebytes has the more accurate detection here. It says it's adware.do and it catches both the file and the associated. Apart from that, we have the AnyProtect potentially unwanted program. Both have picked it up and we had some partial blocks, so some registry key leftovers from that. So I'm a little bit disappointed that Bitdefender didn't manage a clean sheet this time, but overall it's still a pretty good product. In any case, if you're looking to purchase Bitdefender, I have a 50% discount if you use the code TPSC Bit Defender. I'll have a link in the description. You can use that to purchase. You'll be helping the channel out as well as getting your product at a really good discount. So if you're looking to get this on a home system or a business system where you don't want any intervention and you want really good signatures, good choice, go for it. It's definitely a top tier product, but I'd still like to see a few more tweaks to make the zero day defenses more robust. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. And as always, Stay informed, stay secure.